Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way to install Kodi 21 Omega to your Fire Stick Fire TV Cube or any Android-based TV. The whole setup is really easy and you'll get the newest Kodi version in just a couple of minutes. So the first thing you need to get is an app called Downloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Here it is, just open the search bar on your device and start typing Downloader in the search. As you can see, the loader has already popped out for me at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on the loader, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we will actually go to settings. So here we are, let's go to settings, go to My Fire TV, open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now, and if you go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not only those which are available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick. Here it is, let's open it. And there is the Downloader app, which we install to your Fire Stick. However, before actually using the Downloader, there is one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device that you may have. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Finland right now, and from the moment we connect, all our internet traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track us or snoop on us online. And that's extremely important, if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to send you to the best available NordVPN offer. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with the camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. So go get those free months for free and now let's use the loader safely. So we finally open up the downloader application, then on the left side menu make sure to click on home, that's important, and then here you'll see such a search bar which we'll use to enter a link, which is going to be Kodi.tv. So once again your link is going to be Kodi.tv, make sure to enter it exactly as you see on your screen and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake the link is not going to work. Then we click on go. And in a couple of moments, Kodi TV website is going to open. Now we have to click on that sandwich button, go to download, right here, click on download. Then a new web page is going to load up for us, we just scroll down a little bit. And here we need to select our platform, which is going to be Android. It does not matter if you're using a Fire Stick, Android TV, Chromecast, all those devices are Android based, so we need to download Android version of the application to our device. Click on try it, then just scroll down a little bit once again. And for Fire Sticks, we are going to use the ARM V7A or 32 bit version of Kodi application. So just click on that app version, and in a couple of moments, the Kodi download is going to start. As you can see, it's happening really fast, but if you have a slow internet connection, then it might take quite a bit. Now we gotta click on install and just wait until the app gets installed to our Fire Stick or Android TV. And after the Kodi is installed, do not click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because here we have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore. So do not clog the memory of your Fire Stick with unnecessary installation files. Click on Done, 
then click on delete and then delete once again. Now let's finally go to the list of applications on your device, which is right here. Scroll down and here you'll find Kodi Omega app, which we just installed, which is the newest Kodi version. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Kodi app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then once again don't forget to use a VPN to stay safe and out of trouble online and once again you can get 3 months of NordVPN for free if you use my link in the description of the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com. Hope the video is helpful and see you next time, bye bye!